Hi guys, so in today's video, um, I'm gonna be doing another haul, um, yeah, I kinda went, did some more shopping, I know, I kinda have a problem and I need to stay away from the mall, but it's so hard, but, um, anyways, I did some shopping and for one, I had a gift card at Ulta, so, like, that's why, like, I kinda went a little cray cray there, but I think I'm gonna start off with the clothing first because that's what I got the least amount of stuff in um yeah so let's get started i guess i'll just start off with the clothing first because i don't know i'll just start off with that first so at target i saw this really cute dress and oh wrong way um and it's a yellow like lace dress and it kind of like i don't know it's just yellow and lacy and kind of has these like yellow and white stripes going through it and yeah I really like this and when I saw it I was like oh my god I have to have it because it screams spring and it's like cooked and I hate it okay yeah oh my god the lighting um yeah I really like this and I'm sorry that the lighting keeps changing so yeah I really like this dress and I cannot wait to wear it <clears throat> The next thing I have is this shirt, and by the way, um, this is from Aeropostale, and I have not been in Aeropostale in a long time, but I saw this shirt, and it's like a lace, um, just kind of a see-through top. Obviously, I would wear something underneath this. The next thing I have is this cardigan, and what I really like about this cardigan is that it has a couple of pockets, and it's really nice, and... Everything like that. And then the back is like sheer and it has this like kind of almost like a floral pattern and I really like it because just, I don't know, reminded me of spring which fell off the hanger and it's on the floor now. Cool. Uh, is this shirt right here and it's like this turquoise color and or mint color and I really like the, the way how it has like these like little tassel things on them and then how at the bottom it kind of cinches in at the waist and I really like the way it it's cut and everything and I like the lace detailing and it's like that in the back as well and I cannot wait to style these and they are amazing the next thing I have, and all the stuff I just realized, everything I got kind of is lace, and I really like lace, what can I say, so, sorry if you don't, <laughs> um, I really like this. Next thing I got was this, like, um, oh my god, what are they called, pencil skirts or whatever, um, and it's like this, kind of like a cobalt blue almost, like a navy, I don't know, it's a weird blue, um, but... I really like it, and it was only, like, six bucks in the clearance, and I was like, um, I want it, so I got it, and, yeah, I cannot wait to wear this, like, maybe I'll do, like, an outfit or something, where I'm, I'm almost thinking of, like, color blocking this somehow, so I don't know, we'll see, but I'm excited to style this. And the last clothing item that I got, and where did I get this? I don't remember where I got this, but the brand is B Smart, like, like the letter B, and then Smart, and I really like this dress. It's yet again a lace floral, uh, yeah, lace dress, and it's this really, really pretty coral color, and I love wearing dresses in the spring and summer because it's warm out, and I just like wearing dresses in general, but it has this cute brown belt with this gold, like, buckle detailing, and I don't know, I really like this dress a lot, and I cannot wait to wear it, it's just so, like, me, and this is what the back looks like, it's just kind of same as the front, but yeah, the back, and this goes about my knees, I would say, a little past, and I love that, those lengths of dresses because, yeah, I don't like them to be, like, super short, but I don't like them to be super long either. I'm gonna be showing you what I got from Ulta, and I had a gift card, so I did get a lot of stuff, but I got it for pretty much 
so you might as well say just because I did have a gift card and yeah so let's get started I'm gonna show you actually a couple of things that I got from um, Sephora first because I only got like two things and yeah so the first thing is the sample that's from the Makeup Forever um, Pro Finish Multi-Use Powder Foundation and I don't know, I'm kind of like stoked to try this just because I've never tried their powder and yeah, so I'm kind of excited for that. And then it was, since it was my birthday and whatnot, they gave me my birthday gift and this just comes with the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which I'm super excited to try because I've always wanted to try it, but I don't know, I never could justify really spending $24. I'm like, eh, you know, but... Yeah, so then it also comes with a Benefit What's Up, and it's a highlighter, which I've also been really wanting to try, but I've never have, so I'm super pumped to try that. Then from Ulta, um, and this is where I got the rest of my makeup stuff from, so they gave me a sample, and this is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Beauty Balm, and I haven't tried this yet, but... I haven't really heard too much about this, so I'm kind of excited to try this. I don't know if it just came out or if it's not out yet, but um, kind of looking forward to trying that. So if you guys want, um, I'll let you guys know what I think of this. Just leave it down below. And then I got more of my... Wow, I said that way. I'm like, more. And then I got more of my oil-free makeup remover by Neutrogena. And this is, does a pretty good job of removing makeup. So that's oil-free, but there's oil in it. And I always wash my face after, so... Just saying. The next thing I got was the um, Maybelline lipstick from the Vivid collection. And this is an electric fuchsia. This is what it looks like. Um... It's really hot pink and kind of a more of a po uh, like a blue undertone to it, I would say. But that's a swatch of what it looks like. And I um, usually will just dot this on my lips and kind of shoot it out. Or so yeah. Next thing I got from Maybelline was just I a lot of the stuff I got too was um, mascara and repurchases because I was running low on some of them. But anyways, uh, I got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because I'm almost out of mine. And I really like this concealer. Um, it does a really good job of erasing dark circles and stuff. So if you're looking for something for that, this would be something to try. And yeah. Next thing I got was the, my Tarte, uh, what is this, Lights Came My Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. I had, like, a little sample size that I got from Sephora or something, and I loved it because, I don't know, I just really liked what it did to my eyelashes and all that stuff, and I don't think it's waterproof. Yeah, I'm almost positive it's not waterproof, but it stays on all day. It doesn't, like, you know, like come off too easily so I would highly recommend this mascara give it a go I mean it's not gonna hurt really so yeah I love that then I got another mascara and I got a lot of mascaras just saying um but uh I got the covergirl lash blast volume I don't know what this one is and this is in waterproof. I had the purple tube before, and I think I liked it, but I never had the orange tube before, and I want to try this, and yeah, I think I had a coupon too, so I got a couple dollars off, but yeah, I would, um, am excited to try this, and I'll let you guys know what I think about that. The next mascara I got is the Rocket Volume Express Mascara, and... Everyone and their mother has talked about this on YouTube, and I'm like, uh, I want to try that. I wanted to try it, like, right when it came out, but I didn't, just because, I don't know. Uh, but I'm super stoked to try this mascara. And if you guys want a review, although I'm sure everyone has done a review on this, I will do one if you guys want. And just let me know in the comments down below. And, yeah. And like I said, since Maybelline was having buy one, get one half off, if I said that, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. I got the Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. This is not in waterproof. They don't make it in waterproof. But sometimes I like to wear non-waterproof mascaras, and then other times I like 
you know, waterproof mascara. So it just kind of depends on what I'm feeling that day. And anyways, I love this mascara. I've had it before, and I forgot how much I really like this. It's, um has a cone-shaped wand, and it's amazing. It lengthens, and, and it gives it a lot of volume. I think this is, like, a great mascara for everyone, and it's pretty inexpensive, I believe. I want to say it's around, like... Um, five or six dollars, roughly. So, I mean, that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, then I got this Revlon Brow Fantasy, um, eyebrow pencil and gel thing. Because I was running low and I needed to pick up another one. And I'm in brunette. And, yeah. That's what I used to fill in my eyebrows and stuff. And, I don't know, I like the way they look. Let me know if you guys do or don't. But... I like it, so that's all that matters. And then I got my favorite eyebrow gel, and this is uh, the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, and this stuff is amazing. Like, if you haven't tried this, go and try it. I was like, you know, a little bit like, okay, why is everyone raving about it? Just because, okay, you know, I mean, isn't every brow gel like the same? Uh, no. Go try this. It's like amazing. It's like. I mean, I like the Revlon gels, but this, that's like 10 times better because it like actually keeps your eyebrows in place, but yeah. And then since Revlon was buy one get one half off, I got this, um, little travel size thing, um, with the nail clippers, the file, and then like this little cuticle pusher backer thing, and a nail file. The nail, um... Clippers, they suck, I'm just saying, because, uh, they don't clip your nails at all. Um, it, they just won't, it, they won't clip them. I've tried, and that sucks, but everything else in here is amazing, and I like it. Then the last thing I got was the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder, and I'm in the color shade Creamy Natural, and everyone's been talking about this, too. And I've always wanted to try it because I use my, I love my Clinique powder, but um, I just kind of wanted to try this and see like if I like it better just because the Clinique powder is uh, roughly around $22, which is kind of a lot. But um, yeah, and at first I wasn't too fond of the smell of this, but now I'm used to it and I really like it. So that's everything um, I got from Ulta and my clothing i hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video bye